it gives me great honor to welcome on stage the one and only Nelson Cholichlachla Mandela. Geachte FWE, het is goed om te zien hoe ons sam oud wordt. Ik ga daarom nog mee haren. Al is dit een beetje grijze. Ik kan jou verzeker, het is niet jij wat mijn haren grijze gemaakt heeft. <laughs> Over de laatste 16 jaar niet. Ik hoop ook niet dat ik alle de jaren bijgedragen heb om jou te de laat uitvallen. <laughs> FW, you and I have shared in some not too unimportant events over the last decade and a half. I am very happy. I am very happy that we, as two retired and almost forgotten men also share the gentle quietness of aging. You may gloat that you are about 20 years behind me in this process. But remember that I spent almost 30 years idly relaxing on islands <laughs> and in other resorts <laughs> while you were battling it out in the maddening crowd. <laughs> so in reality, we are almost equal in age. And therefore, welcome to this club. <laughs> Seriously, we did share and jointly participate in moments that in all humility on our parts might have helped her to shape our country our continent, and in modest ways, the world. I had occasion in the past to say that our country does not sufficiently acknowledge the crucial role that F.W. de Klerk played in bringing us to where we are today. I am happy to observe that that has changed. There is almost unchallenged recognition and appreciation that without the courageous foresight of F.W. de Klerk, we might well have descended into the destructive racial conflagration that all were predicting. Last year's invitation to you to address Parliament and share as a major participant in the celebration was such a great demonstration of a once divided country making peace with itself. President Mbeki has acknowledged you in many ways as one of the great contributors to our peaceful transition and to the building of a new nation. Around the world, people recognize you as a historic peacemaker and nation builder. What more can I add but to repeat what I have said so often over the last 16 years? You have shown courage as few have done in similar circumstances. It is not to reflect upon your forebears when I comment upon how remarkable it is that the direct descendant of Prime Minister Hans Stratum and Senator Jan de Klerk, both stalwarts of the National Party and therefore of apartheid, could stand up when the moment came to decisively start the total dismantling of apartheid and minority rule. 
you and I have had our differences, some of them very public. Our basic respect for one another has, however, never diminished. And it was that respect for the other, irrespective of all differences, that made it possible for us and our organizations to work together and to negotiate that historic compromise that the world marveled at. If we, too old or aging men, have any lesson for our country and for the world, it is that solutions to conflict can only be found if adversaries are fundamentally prepared to accept the integrity of each other. I am certain that you woke up this morning with a sense of fulfillment, observing how your country has progressed and developed during these 12 years of democracy, a dispensation which your courageous actions help bring about. And I respect you enormously for the manner in which you have gone around the world promoting our country and commending its achievements. At home, you have worked tirelessly in the cause of national reconciliation and nation building. My wife, Grasa, joins me in wishing you a very happy birthday. May you and Alita enjoy the happiness of togetherness for many years still. And may you continue to build on the foundations of our new nation, which you helped to lay. I am proud to have been able to share with you, to share with you in so many historic moments in our country's development. Ladet Khut Khan and Mahyei Sachis Oudvort. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. You have done very well. Very well.